This is me, Martin Joseph Finney from Sligo. This is a good note to uh, Scrapper's Tom's York. John, his name is. You were good enough to swear. You were good enough to swear on your child's life, your dead child's grave, your angel in heaven, that I was in court for taking pictures of children. Tell me what I'm prepared to do. I give 5,000 euro to Patrick McGinley. I'll even go more than that if you want. If uh, This is basically what I'm saying to you. I can prove. One million percent. Put up your 5,000 euro. If you have 5,000 euro, I'm sure you scrappers, bastards, you, said you might find it all there. Uh, the whole idea put it together. I give my 5,000 euro up to Patrick McGinley's yard in Longford. I'll go up to him this week coming and I'll give him the money into his hand. You do the same thing. You do the same thing and we'll prove was I ever in court. You're good enough to swear on your children. If you don't do that, if you don't go up and put 5,000 euro into Patrick McGinley's hand, that means you curse your children in lies. You dirty pagans bastards. So I'm telling you and telling the whole world. If you have respect for your children, Put up the money, the Patrick McGinley's yard, and I'll do the same thing. Now, you said as well that if you see me in a quiet corner, you'd, you'd tear the neck off me with a bite. <clears throat> Take love bites of your own wife. Don't be giving me love bites. You're ran out of Sligo. You, your father, and all your family. You're ran out of Sligo, you're ran down to the north, and you see what happened in the north. No one likes you. No matter where you go, you're not liked. Because you're pagans, you're animals. Now, put up the money, and Patrick McGinley's in the yard. Do it this week. Are you, look, I'll even give you two or three weeks to get the money together if you want. But if you don't put the money up, you curse your children and swear, you're sworn lies. You have pagans, dirty, scrappers, bastardy.